because it is the first time. I'm talking about this breaking up is not a bad thing. Today, you are now a single mom. I was surprised as well. I thought from the very beginning that this is it, the man that I'm going to grow with and live the rest of my life with. But not everyone is lucky. And I hope you're okay and we'll talk about this. ใครที่ดูคลิปนี้อยู่นะครับวูดี้และทีมงานวูดี้เวิลด์ขอกำลังใจหน่อยนะครับเพียงแค่กดไลค์กด Subscribe และกดกระดิ่งแจ้งเตือนครับเวลาเรามีคลิปใหม่ทุกคนจะได้รับรู้กันนะครับกดเลยครับกดสิครับกดยังครับกดหน่อยนะกดยังอ่ะอีสกดนะครับ Hello Woody This is my natural hair this color. Natural hair color. I decided to go back to the roots. Oh, okay. Yeah. I <laughs> still remember you in yellow swimsuit. Was it yellow? It, was it orange? It was white, but I, we had these capes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But um, anyways, <laughs> yeah. So, but I remember your dark black hair. Yes, jet black hair and you know pale skin and light eyes. I think it really worked for the market mm. in Asia. Yeah. So it was a happy accident, let's yeah. say. Okay. It's been quite a while since you've been here in Thailand. Yes. How many years now? It's almost 20 years. Almost 20 mm. years. Yeah. And um, you competed. In the Miss Universe pageant, which was held here in Thailand. Yes. And then you decided to call this your home. Yes. Tell me what made you decide to say, this is where I want to live. You know that feeling when you meet a person and you just know that somehow your soul is connected to that person yeah. and you immediately you know, love at first sight or whatever. Yeah. Well, I had the same feeling when I came to Thailand, when I stepped off the plane. It mm. just felt like my soul was coming back home. Wow. Really, wow, <laughs> I mean, it just wow, felt wow. like whether I had been here in a past life or I don't know what it was, but it just felt very familiar and comfortable. Mm. So right away I had this connection with Thailand. And Thai people had a connection with me as well. They did. Nong Pha. Nong Pha. That's what they called <laughs> you, I'm blue Pifa. eyes. <laughs> now you're getting Pifa. older. Pifa. <laughs> and I caught will be Mefa. <laughs> no, no, don't stick to Pifa. Okay, P5 is okay. Yeah. Yes, oh, let's stick to that. Yeah, so, yeah. yes, this connection really ran deep for me. Yes. So, so moved across the entire world to Thailand, away from my parents. Mm. And do you think you're going to die here? Mm. Have you have you have you thought about the end of your life, <laughs> where it's going to be? Russia, Canada, or Thailand? I don't think it will be Russia. I don't think it'll be Canada. It could be Thailand because mm. I love it here. Yeah. And Thailand has transformed me in many, many different ways, in a positive way. Yeah. We can talk about that in a bit. But where am I going to die? It could be Thailand. Mm. You know what? I would be happy to live the rest of my life here and die here. Mm. A lot of things have happened since we last spoke. Yes. Um, I, I met you and your ex-husband and your daughter. And for the first time, this is something that you've never come out to really talk about yet. Not yet. And um, it's going to be the first time ever, I would say, um, that you are going to be telling us mm. about what has happened. So I was a bit surprised. I was a bit surprised because um, I thought that the two of you, after I spoke a few years back, would probably be able to live happily ever after. <laughs> Um, but then today, yes. you are now a single mom. Mm -hmm. You are now a single mom. So, so tell me, what did you go through, and um, how did you end up being a single mom? Mm. I was surprised as well when I had to, when I had the realization that this was not going to be happily ever after, because we tend to live our lives and we tend to believe what's most convenient and comfortable for us at the time. And as we go through our lives, we grow. You know, you're not the same person you were seven years ago. No. We, nobody is. We literally change our entire, all the cells in our bodies change. But adding to that, the mental development, the spiritual development that we go through. And there comes a point when you start to realize that breaking up is not a bad thing. Right, because 
at some point when you're together, you think staying together, good, breaking up, bad. Yeah. But then there comes that switch where you're like, but who says? Mm -hmm. Because we are not always meant to be with the same person if the rate of growth is so different that it takes you into different phases of your life or different parts of life. And so I thought from the very beginning that this is it. This is the man that I'm going to grow with and live the rest of my life with. But not everyone is lucky mm -hmm. to find a person who can also grow with you. And so it is a little bit difficult to talk about this because it is the first time I'm talking about this. In... I hope you're okay that we're talking about this. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to talk about this okay. because it is emotional. Mm -hmm. And especially, you know, seeing my daughter going through the separation of her parents, I feel that she doesn't deserve any pain, you know, and that's, that's really the hardest part for me is that I want her to have a solid idea of what a family is, a solid idea of what a marriage is or what love is. And unfortunately, I feel a little bit like I couldn't give her that because her father and I are splitting up and going through a divorce. And although I do believe that ultimately we can provide her that, at the moment, it's just, it's so difficult. Mm. It's really hard. It's not easy, Woody, it's not. I can tell you that my whole idea about love and relationships, which I'm writing a book about that now, is that if you can build a temple of love within yourself first, by fully embracing yourself and loving yourself unconditionally, you can then build that kind of temple of love with another person. And that does not depend, that love, on whether or not you're together. You could be separated by distance, by life circumstances, by whatever, but the love will still be there, that you will still honor that love and you will want to wish the other person well and see them succeed and do only wonderful things for them. I feel that in this case, I'm still trying to create that temple of love, but you can only come 50%. Mm. The rest needs to come from the other person. So. Nice. Are you saying that you still have that love for your ex-husband? I would like to believe that I have love for every single human being on this earth. And that is my mission in life, is to be able to say that I love unconditionally every human on earth. And this is an emotion that you probably never felt before since the day you were born, right? Just no, because I've been through a marriage before, as you know. Yes. And I've been divorced yep. before, but I never had a child before. Mm. And so this is, this is a different territory and very new. And I can handle my own emotions. I've learned a thing or two, but being responsible for another life and another human being it's, it's a tall order, right? Mm. It's not easy. So I'm just really focused on making sure that she doesn't get affected by it. It's just the minimum amount that she gets affected, as little as possible. In fact, at the end of a year ago, on New Year's of 2023, Instead of making a new year resolution, I said, I'm going to do something completely opposite. I'm going to surrender. Because I read this book called The Surrender Experiment. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea what that would have in store for me because I thought, oh, you know, let's see what's going to happen. I'm just going to surrender and accept everything that comes my way. Little did I know <laughs> what was in store for me is one of the hardest moments of my life. Which was? Which was the divorce mm -hmm. and the separation. And so having gone through that and still going through that, it's almost like the universe testing me and saying, well, you said you wanted to surrender. Mm -hmm. So let's see if you can actually do it. Mm. So it just becomes easier to go through anything. Mm. That's the biggest lesson. Yeah. We're talking about, we've talked about the inner mm. for the past half an hour, but let's yeah. talk about the outer, the aesthetics. Let's do talk about it because I am a kind of person who loves to take care of myself, okay. as you do too. You're okay with I doctors. Do. You're okay with doctors. I am okay with doctors, but I want to do it in a non-invasive way because okay. all for me, it's all about aging gracefully. Okay. So I don't want to look like I'm trying to look younger. I just want to naturally look younger, mm. which 
you know, technology is improving so much and so fast these days. Yeah. I'm just being mind blown of, of what's happening. Okay. You can do things that can make you look younger by five, 10 years without going under the knife yeah. even, or yeah. resorting to too many fillers or yeah. Botox even. Yeah. So it's incredible what is out there right now. And a few of my friends have told me of the clinic. Mm -hmm. So I- Are you said, going to the clinic? Yes, <laughs> yes. No clinic. way, really? <laughs> yes. It's the place to be, Woody. A lot of celebrities, yes. They, they go to the <laughs> clinic, but I didn't know you, Natalie, go over Miss Universe. 2005. Up by clinic, the clinic. Chai Chai you know why Natalie by the clinic? Chai. Chai ka. How, how so, long have you well, been? How long have you been? Well, this is not that long ago because I realized that, you know, I start, you start to notice these signs of aging yeah. very gradually. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, I feel a little bit like saggy or maybe skin is not as tight anymore. Mm. You know, you lose that firmness. Okay. And that was my main concern because I actually like my wrinkles, to be honest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind the wrinkles. Yeah. But I do want to have that tightness of my skin. Okay. And so a few friends have recommended a couple of procedures, which I had no idea even existed. Such as? Well, there's one called Altera at uh, the clinic. Altera. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. When I heard about it, I said, I must try it because it's, it's something, first of all, no needles and no fillers, okay. which is what I don't want. Okay. And it's a natural way for your body to produce collagen mm -hmm. because it's, um, it's like a biostimulant, right? Okay. So it's, it's a light that uh, and an energy that goes into your skin mm -hmm. and it just instantly you already feel much younger like plumper yeah and then as the time goes over a few months your body starts producing collagen naturally yeah. and then you look at yourself in the mirror and you're thinking hey wait a minute yeah <laughs> i look good yeah <laughs> yeah Altar is great. It's fantastic. And yeah. the clinic is also really wonderful because they have so many machines all in different mm -hmm. branches. The clinic has many branches around right. Bangkok, and, right? And, and then, each one has their own machine. I see. Which is why that's so important. Mm. That's why I had to go to the best. I okay. want to go to the best. Okay. Right? Okay. And the clinic also won so many awards around Asia, beating out even places like South Korea yeah. and Taiwan, yeah. who are known for these kinds of uh, yeah. cosmetic destinations. Yeah. But now Thailand is going to be known. Have you met you met the owner of the clinic? I don't think I met the owner. Yeah. He's very he's very sweet. Kun Then Done. Yeah, yes. he's very sweet. Yes. He's very sweet. He's very sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really, really cool what they can do now. Yeah. Yeah. They 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 do a lot of stuff, I would say. Yes. Yeah, but I think yes. laser treatment is yes. one of their fortes. Yes. Yeah, and they've expanded and they've grown so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, in in Thai, they call you the vampire lady. Do they? <laughs> because it's like eternal beauty. You know how, how you know how Dracula's they don't age. Right. Yeah. So. Um, well. Thanks. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Vampire lady, I'll take it. And the doctors at the clinic have a very specific technique that makes it very safe and effective. Because you can't just go to anybody. Okay. Right? Would you let somebody random stick needles in your no, face? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Which, by the way, doesn't hurt as much as it sounds. Okay. Because it is a bunch of injections. Okay. But surprisingly, it was very painless. Okay, so you young, but not dick, ma. So I just said you you still look very young. Yeah. Do dick. Do dick, ma. Ma. Do dick, ma. ka, if I can share with you. Because some of the neglected areas which people don't normally look at are your hands mm -hmm. and your neck. Okay. Those are the things that show signs of aging even before your face sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes people will do a bunch of things on their face. But not on the neck and the, and the hand. That's right. So, so what did you do at the clinic? So at the clinic, what they do is they use another treatment called Radius. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have to say genes definitely play a role. Yeah. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I was so excited after I did it. I had to call my mom right away. Oh, I was like, did. oh my God, look. I couldn't wait to share the result with her. Okay. So you said- she her, knows me, right? She, I'm her baby. Yeah, she sent you a pic or you sent I her sent her a picture and I said, look, can you see a difference? She was like, wow, what did you do? Oh. I said, mom, you have to try this. Yeah. Back then it sounds like a, a, a slogan that's like, sounds like a creative 
write, um, let's say a copywriter right. from an, a campaign wrote that to make it flashy, <laughs> but it was. It, <laughs> But it, it's true. But it's true. <gasps> and it stood the test of time. Yeah. Pu ying kit work. What is it then? Ying sui kun. Ying sui kun. Yeah. yeah. It is maybe a cliche by now, but the things get cliche for a reason because they are true. Mm. And part of the reason I feel that I keep my youthful energy, I'm not even talking about how I look physically, but I just feel youthful mm. in my energy. Yeah. You know, because I keep on dancing, I keep on, you know, singing in the yeah. shower. I, you know, go fun, do fun things with my hair, by yeah. the way, you yeah. know? <laughs> new year, new me. <laughs> yeah. Right? So it's just, it's kind of like, don't stop having fun because you think you have to be serious because the world tells you to be serious yeah. because you're a certain age and you don't do these things anymore. I mean, you'll see me at a festival yeah. dancing until sunrise. Yeah. So if people tell you nowadays that you mm. you know what you have to say? It's, a, mm. it's like a new slang. What's that? It's chum. Chum. Chum means like full, like full on. Ah, like, okay. f like if they say, "Oh, you look so beautiful," you'd be like, "Ah, okay." So, 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 so let's. It, let's, not, it let's, won't let's... make me sound too full of myself. No, 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 no. Okay. no you, you, have, you have to do the face. It's like, chum, chum. Yeah, yeah. So, so it, it's not like chum. It's chum. So, chum. so let, let's try it. Okay, out. okay. Okay. Pi fa, pi fa, du suay mag le, pero na ti de clinic ma niya. Hmm. Chum. You are Hong Thai. ใช่ค่ะใจอ่าไรท์ไนส์วิทย์คอลวิทย์คอลเรดิเอสเรดิเอสเรดิเอสเรดิเอสเรดิเอสเรดิเอสเรดิเอสเรดิเอสเรดิ